Alright, four small ones to hook into the legs. The four big ones. Of course, I want to use logs I've already worked so hard to get clean, but didn't use. So there's two legs. Probably cut these straight and uh, use the pick apart. And the third leg, I might use two of these. So this will be one piece. So really all the guy do is clean right from here up. Figure out what part I want. Have a nice curve to it. Be fun. All these do. And clean up three of these little ones. Alright, let's get to it. back and move forward.
good there. these flat across the top. I think that's the last thing I'm going to do after it's all installed. That's a fine touch thing, but it should be nice to cut these off individually, but you just can't get that angle right. You don't know what it's going to be. So the last thing I'm going to do is hand cut these. Hey, turned it over. That's awesome looking. Stain these up, it'll all match. And the tilt and rock is only a little bit cool.
All right, so I used the pencil on a piece of wood while this was sitting up, got it, got it level, and then scored it around all of them. So when I cut it, it will be level. So now I'm just trying to figure out what to cut this with to get a nice clean cut. I guess a saw. And we'll sand it and stain it. Well, I'm gonna try the Japanese saw first. Mostly because I can pull straight and hopefully get a very straight line. Use the finer blade teeth here. Okay, let me cut the line off. It's working. cut. Let's put something flat on there. Oh, the slightest, slightest wobble. Cool. Well, we're going to sand them down and hopefully there won't be any more wobble. And then we'll put the little uh, felt buttons under there. Really good. 